Hi guys, this is Sanjay Kumar and welcome in advanced Microsoft Excel training classes. And we will try to cover all the advanced features that we have in Microsoft Excel 2013. So uh, we have divided those modules in three parts. So you would be able to see that here that module one is for a data protection, integration and customization. Module two for advanced techniques and module three for data analysis and turning data into decisions. Okay, now let's start with module one that will cover data protection and risk, data integration, customization, and finally we're going to practice that. And what exactly the data protection and risk is. So let's cover it here. Data protection and risks will ensure that your data, whatever information you put in your sheet, only you are able to access that and that can be organized and managed in a more appropriate way rather, you know, putting data in a, you know, risky situation. So data protection and risk will cover Excel features just like a mark as final, encrypt with password, protect current sheet, protect workbook, district access and mark as a digital signature. So let's start with mark as a final feature in Excel 2013. So what is a mark as final feature? In most of organization, people used to keep their important document and information on a shared network or in cloud from where different group of you know people who located in different different part of the world or in the same city or in the same premises but in a different locations so they can access and make a modification in that document and mark as a final feature allow author to notify the rest of the users who are going to make addition in that document it will be notifying them that this document is, is on a final version and no more modification required so mark as a final feature is a is a kind of notification that allow author to notify the rest of the team members or that the world that no more addition required so let's see a demo in the next video that will give you a extensive understanding that how you will enable or disable this feature in Excel 2013.